say good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. We're going to drop off Eve. I'm sad. And we're all sad. Except for she's pretty pumped. She doesn't realize yet. No. What do you watch when you're sad? Because the office is what I watch when I'm sad. Well, we're home. Sarah's cooking up dinner. I'm about to start moving some stuff around into the car. We terribly miss our puppy. I wish you could just... I could wear it in a baby carrier everywhere I go. I even looked for Airbnbs last minute. <laughs> Just to see. They were all like $800 and in the city bounds, which we can't technically go to. Yeah. It'll... She'll have fun. She will have a new have cat. Fun. And the cat was like... Because <laughs> we always joke that Eve is half cat, so she's probably like, That's, that dog looks like me. Wait, is dinner going to be a hodgepodge trying to like get rid of stuff? A little bit. In my pantry. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. We got some quinoa going. I'm going to make a lemon sauce. Ooh. Lemon creamy sauce. For the potatoes? The potatoes Ooh. and the quinoa. Because I just love ketchup. I want to be able to dump some. And then I'm going to make one of those, like, the dressing, salad dressing with the hummus. Um, We have cucumber and tomato and mixed greens that we got to get rid of. So that's Eat dinner. Up some. Excuse me. I told the vlog when I'm sad I watched the office. You got chores to do. I got chores. What's that from? Does anyone know that quote? I don't even know. I made a little kombucha cocktail with my cucumber mint. Um, whatchamacallits? What is that called? Seltzer water? And I put a lime in there. Half a lime. So the sauce that I'm making is actually a recipe by Chrissy Teigen that somebody shared on Twitter. We don't have everything, like all of the different alternatives, but I think I can kind of whip it up. I will link it below. Um, but it's pretty simple. It's just garlic, red pepper flakes, rosemary, chicken broth, which I'm gonna use, veggie broth, um, some heavy cream, which we have a little bit of plant-based milk left. Um, and instead of butter, I'm gonna use oil. So again, it's not gonna be like spot on, but it was my inspiration for this, and hopefully it'll just be yummy and good to put on the potatoes and the quinoa and anything else. And then maybe if you like it, I'll um, I'll be sure to get like the real ingredients to really make it. I took a world famous Peter Brookhart five minute nap, and now it, while Sarah's finishing up dinner, this is a piece of furniture that we are attempting to bring back to Chicago. I took the glass shelves out and the bottom out. Um, I'm gonna see if I can fit this in the back seat or the trunk. Wish me luck. All right, it did not fit into the trunk, but I got it in the back seat for the win. Guess what? It's really late, but we're not it's going to bed yet. Not that late. Well, it's late considering I'm still going on a run. It's look 10:30. Look how sweaty I look. <laughs> look at this right here. See this? I vote. For Orange <laughs> County. Well, what is it? The official primary election ballot for um, August 18th. Sarah and I did mail-in voting because we're not going to be here. But, first of all, I don't believe voter fraud in mail-in or absentee voting is as big as a thing as a lot of people think it is. It, there's multiple states that only do it. It's not a new thing. Um, but... Regardless, we have our ballots that are official, and rather than mailing them in, be also because it is in five days, and we really should have done this. Sarah just got hers today, but I've had mine for like three days. We should have put them in already. Um, but what's cool is you can also drop them off if you are worried about USPS not Honestly, delivering that's like them recommended. or fraud. So we're gonna go early. Well, like we're leaving early to drive, but we're gonna not hop right on I four. It's it's just it's right, right by Whitney Palmer Hospital. Um, so we're gonna go drop them off in the morning, and then like it's there. Yeah, like it'll be right there. It went from our hands into the office of the official election or whatever it's called. What's cool is that this is the election that we felt the most educated in ever. Um, although we haven't been out and protesting, I mean I haven't because of you know being pregnant and whatnot. We still have been doing our part from home, kind of like we had explained before about what I was doing while Peter was out. 
sharing things on Instagram. I think our Instagram feed is completely different than it was months ago with who we're following and who we're being educated by. And so it's really cool that I feel the most intentional with yeah. these votes. Well, and, and being involved in that community aspect, um, this being a primary and a lot of you make more of an effect doing local and state elections than the than the national elections because right. it's just those are clo- it's closer to you so the the decisions these people that you're voting for are going to make decisions that are more closely affected to your community and that in your county into, in your district into your state yeah. and then it snowballs into the nation right um, but cool it's cool about us going to these community events and then the protests and everything is that I, we actually learned a lot about two of the more important, well, they're all important, but two of the the, the bigger ticket items in this county, and that was for the state attorney, and mm-hmm. we are voting for, and if you want to call it an endorsement, I guess it is, yeah. uh, Monique Wooler, Worrell. Mm-hmm. She's she been on a bunch out, yeah, with, you a lot. with the protests, giving speeches, educating the crowds on what's going on in the neighborhood, everything, so I felt like a, a deep connection to her and liked her story and what her plan is when she gets voted into state attorney and then for sheriff um there is a different sheriff who's up for re-election but we're not voting for him he might be all if you live in florida he might be all over your facebook ads everything everywhere i turn i see his face Um, but there's a there's a nice gentleman andrew darling who is running for sheriff and what's cool about him he's also been out so i've learned a lot and listened to him and i've actually talked to him Mm -hmm. uh, a few times during the protests and different speeches that i've been to and what's cool about him is he's been a public defendant for years in orange orange county defender or defendant defender okay he was the lawyer for the defendant yes um but he grew up in the communities he is a bald white man but Mm -hmm. he is married to a black woman and has children he has deep roots in the community and him coming out and, and showing the support things firsthand and, and has experienced different sides of the judicial system in Orlando. So I'm really hoping, yeah, that he gets really, ho- really pulling, pulling for those two. But what was cool about um, mail-in voting is that we actually got to like do more in-depth research for some of these lower ones that you might not know as much, like the mm-hmm. circuit courts and stuff like that. You can still do that at home if you do your research and know but who's going you forget? to be. Right. Like, oh, so this is like, the 17th it was judge great that we were section able we to, need to vote for. Right, that we were like able to look at their names, remember, even quick just Google search. And so we hope that you will do the same and do a little bit more research than you might have in, in past times yeah, we if don't, your primaries are coming up. We care more that you educate yourself. Don't take just what you see scrolling through Instagram or Facebook or what you see flipping the channels on your TV Mm-hmm. to heart like just do a little bit of research yeah it is nice that they still give you a sticker one other thing to remember is to look at all of the different instructions um whether it's signing the back or using the protector sleeve um i mean i guess that goes in all sorts of voting but particularly in mailing in your vote um just because you want your vote counted, you don't want a silly reason for them to not count your vote. And that is a huge part of why voter oppression happens and whatnot. So just be really careful. There's no reason um, that they might not take your ballot. Fun fact, I just had to go get my wallet because I need to get my license out because I actually was really bad and I just like stopped caring about my signature when I signed things. but. It has to like match what I used to sign it as when I did my voter registration, or else it's not going to count. Um, so I need to look, stare at my license for a few minutes, and then sign my my mail-in vote. Okay, who knows this iconic introduction to a movie? Did you see it? I gave a little tiny hint. I'll give another hint. It's perfect for like getting excited for a road trip because the two main characters go on an epic road trip during it. Here we are, Park Avenue, once again. It is late, it's like 11.30 I think or something like that. Say goodbye to Park Avenue for the week because I'm running tomorrow in Nashville, not here. So this will be the last Winter Park run in about a week and a half. I think because we had such a big dinner and so late, I just burped the entire first couple miles. My stomach feels terrible. Um, 
not terrible. My, my stomach feels bad, but not awful. I feel, I know I'm gonna feel better at the end of this run, even though it's gonna be a bit rough to get through. But I know I'll feel good at the end. And we just need to get to bed, because we gotta go. Oh, that is not a good time, considering we wanna be pretty much packing at 5.30. But, today is Thursday, the 13th of August. Ooh, it tastes like Maya Angelou. Wait for it, wait for it. Life loves to be taken by the lapel and told, I'm with you, kid. Let's go. I dig it, and guess what? Because a wonderful person reminded us on Instagram to take a photo, we're gonna do one better. We're gonna bring the whole thing. Look how long my hair has gotten. Yeah, look how long my hair's gotten. Oh. We were super productive today. Sorry that like the vlog might have been more talky-talky. But, but we had to get stuff ready for the trip. Mm -hmm. I have to roll my legs still out. I'm going to share the playlist because I've been working on that since Peter's been on his run. i got to name it something different because like right now it's just like called Road Trip. And yeah. in order for you to search for it and to find it, it's got to be a little bit more unique. Unique. And we'll put the link down below as well. Oh, if, I, I think there is a link. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Well, we have to get like three hours of sleep right now. so That's a little more than that. Five. Bye. A little less More than five. than that. Our old Brooke Hartways. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>